It is true that, that you know, certainly one line of criticism is, you know, shouldn't the American people get, get to vote? Um, and uh, one of the rejoinders to that is that's what happened in 2020. The American people got to decide whether they wanted to vote for Donald Trump. They didn't vote for him. He refused to accept the result of that election and, and actually ultimately uh, incited a, a violent attack. There's no particular reason to believe that the result would be different this time. So the idea that sort of we just trust it to to democracy, when you're talking about someone who has literally attacked democracy, I think is not particularly satisfying.